Welcome back, everybody. This is Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. At it. My name is Zexor. Thank you for joining me in the last part. I uh, did some attempts at some hunting around Carinus. Slaughtered people wholesale. Actually, tried kiting and it failed, but we'll pretend like I was awesome. And uh, also fought like some, some you know, animals and stuff on the way, like wolves and rats and things and such and so on. Uh, and so, uh, I also tried coming back in and I was not in trouble with the guards that time. I did, however, agree to do the, the underhanded shady business with, um, I never remember his name, but the guy at the, the inn in the Harbor District. Uh, wow. I can't remember. I'm not remembering his name anyway. So, uh, yeah. So we did that. I agreed to do some, I, I basically got the goods from... Uh, Ackles farm and then brought them back and gave them to him and then slept and then the next day he's like you did a good job you're an amazing criminal so well done I'll let my employer know and so that's kind of where that stands so this is where he was looking at oh yeah this is the back half of where the the paladins and whatever are so I don't know what else is out this way we also I also looked around to try to potentially uh, do oh I can loot some stuff there I think it looks like there's like an axe for example to take so let me let me do this oh. all right there is an arrow and a rusty axe and nothing else so there's basically just the axe um, and I didn't really um, I didn't really get very far on the on the quest trying to help Greg with his treasure, mainly, I think, because, uh, well, one place that I remember where his treasure could be is on an island in the middle of the lake, which also happens to be guarded by, uh, some lurkers, which I totally cannot take, <laughs> currently, at least. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's where that was left lying. For the time being. Let's see if there's anything else. Like up this way. I don't see anything in my scope. So that's good, I think, mostly. I don't know if it's good in the long run. But for now, at least, it means I can grab some stuff here without too much worry. At the moment. That means nothing, though. I could start worrying at any point. Any second now, I will start my panic attack. So, okay, so that's pretty much what's down this way, I guess, right? I, I, be, I definitely could be missing something, but that looks like that's pretty much. Pretty much this way is just like some, some more like herbs and stuff to gather. Not really much else. Healing plant. So this was actually, in the game, looks like this is a reasonably safe uh, place to go kind of early on, right? Whoops, no, that didn't work, hang on. Try that. There we go. I don't really know how much, <laughs> like around the cliffs I can go and stuff, but... Yeah, that's okay. Well, that was neato. That was super terrific, okay. Oh, uh, how neat. I was able to climb the cliff side, that's wonderful. How fabulous. Still nothing. Is this that cave that I found before? I think this is that cave I found, right? Yeah. So, I cleared those, uh, cleared it out of uh, the bandits that had been in there, so... I'm not sure. It almost looks like you can go, like, go up on top. I wonder... Alright, what, what happens if I do that? Whoa, whoa, if I, like... The geometry will let go of me first. What happens to that? If I do that first, or that where I can actually move. There we go. Huh. I had to like jump to get loose. Loosey goosey. Get them loosey goosey with the jumpy wumpy. Thumpy dumpy. Pumpy. Cumpy. Crumpy. Is that. Oh, that's. Yeah. If you can get up above from there or not, actually. Possibly. Possibly. Let's look at the possibility of getting loose. 
Getting loose and free and carefree and stuff. Okay, so if I... Uh, up this way? Is that what I... No. That did not work. This way. There we go. Now I'm up here. And I don't know... But branch in way can't see in game. There. Whoa. Easy. Easy. Looks like that's as far as that's going to let me go up, and I do cannot, I don't have enough height to jump up to get up there at all. So, but if I'm up there later, I guess, if I end up being able to get up there later, I could always drop down to here without taking, like, a lot of damage, probably. Then, Alright, well, that's future reference, I guess. Um, yeah, so I don't really know... I hadn't really thought ahead of time what the plan for this uh, this part was going to be. <laughs> I was kind of wandering. Burr, I wonder what happens when I do this stuff. It's great. It's wonderful. This goes up above, though, right? This was, oh yeah, this was that other road where I'd like been like, well, let's go here later, maybe. So let's go here now and see what stuff we run into. I'm kind of trying to feel out the, the borders of areas, right? So I know what's going to be oh crap, there's something here versus oh, this is mostly safe or whatever. And I don't really think any place is really going to be safe per se. But bore. And see, I think that way I think it's through the woods where there were like the wargs and stuff. I think I can do this this time though. Looks like there's. All right, let's do this. It's a boar. Only lost one arrow in there. So bad. And a boar skin. Jeez, are there were like wargs up there? I don't know. I'm pretty sure though this is like the other side of tra traveling the dangerous route that I could have before. Well, I don't know. This is kind of skirting the edge, so I don't know. I don't know for sure, but I think so. I'm thinking probably, or maybe that's the path. Maybe that's the path that actually went through the woods. Hey, what up, buddy? I didn't technically need to use the second uh, arrow, probably, and then I just draw my sword, but whatevs. Whatevs, 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 whatevs. Just fire not wood, or what do you call meadow not weed? Fire. Meadow not weed is what I meant. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry for my lack of proper nomenclature. The nomenclature was the lackage. Blood fly and scavengers. I can take these. Let's do that. What's up, buddy? Ah, uh, okay. Heal up a little bit. Do some healage. And how much am I down? Uh, basically 10. So let me just do a bug, meat, bug, meat. Get myself full healed again. Or scavenger meat. Scavenger meat. Okay. There are blood flies up there. Well, this is kind of cool. This is a new, new, new path to take that I hadn't taken before. I, I ain't never done take this path. I ain't never done take the path. Nah, let me go ahead and save it. Where am I? Burger. Oh. God save it here, I think. That's fine. Let's see. I want to kind of. Nicholas? I don't know if he's one of the bandits I would run into on the way to the tower that uh, 
what's his name was talking about? I don't know. Let's do this and grab leather satchel, potion, and a light crossbow. Bolt. Another bolt. Another bolt. And another bolt. And another bolt. Wow. I'm rich with bolts. Too bad I don't use bolts. I would prefer to yeah, have a bunch of arrows and a bow, but that's alright. Aren't you supposed to, isn't this guy supposed to have like the epic bow of the game? Like basically I win the game when I get that bow, right? Right? No? No? Wow. Bah. Blameage. Let me, so I don't forget to do it later and I accidentally sell it like an idiot like I've done before. Let me go ahead and open this. There we go. 25 gold there. And... Okay, I think it's it for now. Yeah, I'm going to save it again so I don't have to leave those again or forget to do so or whatever. That's fine. All right, so let me go talk to Nicholas and find out if he's going to attack. What's up, Nicholas? Did you run away too? What makes you think that? Why would you come here all alone? There's nothing here. So why are you here? I can get a bit of peace up here. I always feel so restricted in the city. Hmm. Don't you have to work? Everything I need I can get for myself. I cut the arrows and nature provides the meat. So you're a hunter? Yes, if you want to call it that. But I only hunt what I need for myself, not to earn money. Hmm. I only wanted to have a look around. Okay, be my guest. Would you like a piece of meat? Sure. Yes, gladly. Here, the finest leg of mole rat, according to my own recipe. Oh, nice. Fried meat. Okay. In that case, I'm sure you can teach me something. Why not? I could show you how to handle a bow. Okay, and show me just, how to handle a bow. He's like Bar Talk Part Two, basically. Yeah. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay, so another bow trainer. That's cool. What else? There's scavengers. More scavengers here. I don't know, like, if any of this, like, this axe in the, in the stump here is, it belongs to him, so. Oh, for crying, really? Wow, okay. <laughs> I guess I have to aggro him or something. It's like, it's like passing through him, graphically at least. Sure, I'm sure there's like some kind of programmatic, hey, you're not actually hitting this guy, but. Monster around. Oh, you killed the weather. Okay, I don't want to lure them there because he's gonna kill steel. I want. I mean, it's not much, but I want the experience for that. Let's do this again. Let's go over this way. I think. And now I'll fight him over here where he's not gonna. I'm hoping at least. <laughs> I'm down at 20. Do I even have anything that's 20 now? Probably not. It's 15. Per 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 10. That's mana though, I don't want that. Um Yeah, I'll just I'll I'll just uh use the well fried meat and then but then I need eight. I'll just do two of the bug meat. I think that is a ten each. That'll make it exactly even. Alright. 
Okay, so now, let's see what else we got. I hope you guys don't mind these too terribly. I enjoy the exploratory, like doing the exploratory stuff, like, ooh, what's over here and stuff. I have a lot of fun exploring and seeing what's where. So, you guys are like, oh, Zexor, another episode where you just hunt stuff? Are you friggin' kidding me? Orc Elite, yeah, so don't go down there. <laughs> I'll go down there and fight, that's great, that's smart. I should totally do that. There's like, I mean, granted, it's like up a hill and stuff from it, but there's like really tough, pretty close, reasonably close to pretty easy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but der -per -ter. Nothing in that log or anything, right? Nope. All right. So let's go back over to where the blood flies are, I think, and I'll fight them. So I wonder if all of Greg, I don't even remember, right? Is all of, I think all of Greg's treasure is like from that island in the lake and further down way over there, right? Not, I don't think there's anything over here. Maybe there is. I don't remember for sure. But I think it's pretty much all over there. This is where Crossbow Man was. Crossbow Man, Crossbow Man, he's got a crossbow in his hand. He will fight, he will die. He'll give me his crossbow guy stuff. It was a good song in my head until I started singing it. Okay. Um, purr, 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 purr. Problem is, there's like uphill, right? I don't even know. Can I really shoot uphill very well? Maybe. Oh, yeah. That worked. That was pretty easy, actually. Oh, here. Here, just die. Back. There we go. Nothing to plunder. Get anything off of them. Obvi. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting. I'm down 10. Another bug meat. Okay. Nothing else up this way, apparently. Oh, there's a warg. Yeah, I'm gonna go fight him. Not. Yeah. See, here's where, here's where the the pretty pretty much my level stuff ends and the really dangerous kill me now stuff begins, right? Giant rat. Oh. Where? How do I get down there? I just jump? There's a warg not far away. Is that going to be safe? I, let me say it just in case I get myself in trouble here. Alright, well. Let me... Can I... Is this like a ramp? Oh, yeah, it is like a ramp. And there's a boar. And there's a warg up there, though. Yeah, so i got to be careful not to go too far that way. But I could do the boar and the giant rats. If I'm careful. What is that purple? Is there like magic going on down there? It's gonna get my butt killed? I don't know what it might be. Or maybe there's a glitch. I don't I don't know if that's supposed to be like like a pawn splash or if that's actually like danger. Oh hi. I didn't know that you had already noticed me. Hello. Can I even hit him from here? That's a question. I don't know. I do not know the answer. What, what the crap? Man? Are they gonna unglitch? What in the freaking crap is going on? <laughs> er, there. In case they're glitched, let me save on number five, and I'll uh, try to shoot them from here. So number five is the save is so if I lose a bunch of arrows trying to hit them. No, I got him. Okay, that's good. And then you got you. Okay, so that wasn't bad. Now I just get the boar. Actually, let me save on number five since I did that, just in case I cannot get the boar. I just still don't waste a bunch of arrows. This is the problem is I don't want to spend like a million dollars on, well, a million gold on arrows. There we go. 
I'm not really trying to exploit. I, well, in fact, no, because they still. He's huh. Ah. Uh, right, let me here so you can better. Oh, come on, you can reach me, right? Can you not? Here, you can reach me, totally. You can totally reach me. There we go. More fat, rat, fat, and other rat, fat. Okay. Now oh, there's the warg is like up that direction, I think, ish. Alright, me. I'm doing a lot of saving. I don't know. <laughs> There's like too many directions stuff can come from, right? At least this way I don't have to like go way back to where I had saved before or whatever. Yeah, see, there's a warg there, and I don't want to deal with you. But you're up above, so provided I don't get close enough that you want to come down here, I'm probably okay from you for now. There's a where's the wolf? Oh, as I say, there's a wolf over here. Alright. Alright, am I not hit, gonna hit you? Uh, I'm not gonna hit him. There we go. Oh. I don't think there are any more, right? No more wolves. Blood flies, but yeah, okay. Oops, <laughs> I keep doing that. I am down uh, 535. That sounds like three of these, basically, to me. One, two, be 36, it's close enough. Alright. Okay, so that's that progress. That's good. I think. Yeah, maybe this isn't good. Maybe you guys will like... Nothing to be had there. Suck. Like, not doing nothing but hunting, really? And I'm like, hey, hunting's freaking awesome. Are you kidding me? Hunting rocks the Kazbah. There's like another pass that way. I don't know what's up there. Uh, should I come back to the blood flies? No, let me do the blood flies now. Alright. What's up, guys? Hi. Ah. Miss. There we go. Hit. Oh, one. Here. Okay. Okay. Sadly. Oh, gosh, dang it. I have to look first. Same as before. Let's do three more of these. Uh, maybe I have two. Yeah, I only need ten now. So I probably wasted one last time. Uh, what do I have that's ten besides that? Uh, water's eight. Milk's five. You know, that's close enough. We'll do that. That's fine. Okay, so... I don't really know that I'm going to go up this way because I know for a fact there are wargs that way. I guess I can scout really briefly and see what's there, right? That would be good. What is waiting for? Oh, snappers. Oh, snap. Snappers. Oh, snap. Snap to the snappers. Yeah, if I want to test my skill with snappers, I could do that closer to Karina's. And that's going to get closer to the warg. Yeah, so this is getting tough again. So we'll go back this way and see what's up this other path. Might also be a roadblock for me if it's a bunch of tough stuff up here. I don't know, right? IDK, yo, IDK. Oh, another cave. Ah, uh, crap, and with blood and bones. What way should I go? The way of the blood and bones? Probably not. What am I probably going to do, though? 
Go the way of the blood and bones. I'm going to pause for now. Do this. Grab some stuff. Leather satchel. Rusty sword. Sword. Nothing else there for the moment. Alright, once again, so I don't forget, let's open the satchel. Uh, where's satchel? Oh! Narrow bag, not very heavy. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just shaved differently. Just ten. Alright. Okay. Perpeter. Perper to per to ter. And this is. Oh, this goes to the beach. Or, well, the beach? I don't know about that. A shore. And is that that tower I saw from a distance before? Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell if that's the same tower or if that's just another building that I couldn't see with the other perspective. The perspective is, you got to get your head straight, boy. Remember, remember what we've said before. You were trained to use your boat effectively, not like a little sissy boy like you've been doing. What do you mean like a sissy boy? Well, you shoot things at a distance and then they get close and you keep shooting them. Yeah, I'm, I'm a marksman. <coughs> it's kind of what I'm supposed to do, isn't it? No, you're supposed to be a man. Man up and use your bow only at range. What? Man up? For reals? And those are bandits. Two bandits. Alright. Here is where it gets potentially messy. I don't know how tough these bandits are versus others. They both have bows also, so that's really in my favor as well. Right, is there a... I don't know if there's a way to get up above. Get some kind of high ground on them, but I don't, see, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Berter per perdeter. Dragon root, very nice. Oh, dragon root looks kind of like the. We call it. Dragon root to me is looking like the um, moss you gather elsewhere, but it's a root, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe that's just kind of there. It's got these leaves nearby or whatever thing. Can I get up here? I don't know if I could do so even with them, with them out, with them not seeing me either, but... Alright, did I save it? <laughs> My brain broke. I don't remember if I just saved it, I'll save it here just in case. No, I did. I did, I remember now. Oh, well, whatever. Let's see if I can... No, it's not letting me climb there. Can I go over a little bit and climb? Are they turning, or is maybe he's facing that way normally? You're in for it now. Nope. Yep. They saw me. Crap. Uh. No. Nope. Ah. What's so that? much for you, low life? <laughs> All right. That was fast. One shot. Kill. Yeah, so he can want see. I don't have like that's part of my problem. I don't have like any real. No, well, I have a thirty against projectiles. They're just good with bows. Do I have anything else that'll increase my resistance to projectile shots? I don't think so. It's part of the problem. I don't think it is. I do. I mean, um, let's see. So down here. Will-O-Wisp isn't going to help me. Ring of Spirit is magic. This gives me strength. See, that's, not, that's no protection at all. I'd lose protection if I tried to use that. What is this? Oh, pick. Um, herring. A herring. 
Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I could use that for... Yeah. <sighs> so these bandits are... are beyond my skill level too, it seems. Alright. Well? Oh, I didn't notice this arrow before. Okay. Well, we'll wait to fight the bandits then, I guess. At least the other bandits, like, down the other direction are like pretty much Malay. I mean there there's a there's a bow guy there, but there's like more Malay. So I can shoot him at a distance. These guys I don't even know first of all if I can damage him really much with my bow. My guess is based on the one shot he did to me, <laughs> I I cannot. So um Okay, now we're gonna go into the creepy creepy cave where I'm gonna die again, I'm sure. Alright, so no to the bandits. Let's see about the cave. I can check for loot later, but oh crap, and there's a shadow beast in there? Yeah. <laughs> ah, Bartok was able to kill the shadow beast because he's like a higher level, I think, than I am, right? Yeah, there's no friggin' way. If I can't kill a lurker, there's no way I can kill a shadow beast. Okay. So, in other words, do not go into that cave. Whoops, I don't have to sneak this far out, I don't think. Just be sure not to enter the cave. I should do this, though, in case there's anything up here. I don't know that there will be, but just in case there is. Bandits. There are the bandits again. I wonder if I like. No, I'm sure I can't. I was like, I wonder if I get like low enough or whatever, if I can actually shoot them from here. But even if I did, they'd like notice me. So, this is inter interesting. How little basically I can do right now because I have such a low skill level with things. Whoops. For anything around that's dangerous. Not seeing anything at the moment. Because that leads over to the bandits. So that's terrific. And this is back over where like the giant rats had been and stuff, which means there are wargs up that way. Jeez. <laughs> uh, Zexor is screwed. On the one hand, I have stuff that will kill me. On the other hand, I have more stuff that will kill me. And on the last hand, that's right, I have three hands by the way, I have more stuff that will kill me. So, ah, uh, dipper dur. What do you want to bet this goes to more wargs down this way, too? To Karinas. Going this way, I'm sure. Either there'll be more bandits, or there'll be like wargs or orc elites or something to kill me. Oh, uh, wait, is this back? Oh, this is, yeah, okay, this is back. I know where this is. Okay, so I'm back, basically. I'm not far from Karinas now. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So that's good. So bandits are like... Huh. Higher level. There are also... The, what is, oh. For a second, I was like, is that a cave I missed? But no. Um, all right. Well, that's there. Let me see. Hang on one second here. All right, I'm going to cut the vid and travel back over to uh, the inn over where, like, Greg's trays are been or wherever and proceed from there. So I'll see you guys in just a second here. So now we're back to uh, where we had been uh, in the last part somewhat. 
So, um, and I did some exploration over in the other area, of course. Uh, so I was told, I think, I think Yvonne Dado was telling me that, uh, over oh, these guys are actually friendly. Right? Buster and Mercenary. Arter. No. Are these guys friendly? I don't... Maybe. I guess we'll see here in a second. Yeah, okay. What's up, Buster? What do we have here? Don't I know you from somewhere? If you say so, I'm on my way to see the landowner. Indeed. Hmm. You don't look all that dangerous to me. I've killed a beast or two on occasion. Ha! Ha ha You probably flattened a few weevils in the fields and chased a couple of rats from their holes. We're dealing with orcs here. Well, yeah. And with those scummy city guards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, see that one. Impressive. <laughs> That's our business, kid. We even produce our own weapons and armor. We defy death every day. But a country bumpkin like you wouldn't know about that. Whatever you say. Get a move on, you wimp. Um... Tell me about the farm. Onar hired us to guard his possessions. So don't even think about stealing anything or beating up the farmers. Otherwise you'll be in trouble with us. Got it? Yeah, I got it. What's new? Not much here with us. But ask in the city. I think they're running out of grub. Ha 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 ha. joker. What do you want, you wimp? I want to find out more about the mercenaries in this region. I can't tell you much about this region. You'd better ask the farmers. And as for us mercenaries, we have a very simple rule. If you can stand your ground, you're in. But why am I telling that to you, you wuss? <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Um, Tell me that isn't true. Okay. I never would have thought of that himself. It's not really much that way. Tell me that isn't true. Uh, but now I know where Onar's farm is, right? It's not too far away from them. Probably just further down the road that way. I'm guessing. Maybe this is even it, though. I don't know that that's true. I don't think there's anything in the fields. Whoa! What the glitch? I think the. Hello? Let me jump, get up some. I don't think there's anything in the fields last time I was here, but farmer, yeah. Just farmers, right? So that's okay. Durr, does this count as stealing? I don't know. I don't know if this counts as stealing. <laughs> Urgh, I mean, they're just normal plant, plants I would normally pick, right? But I don't know. Maybe I should leave them. What fun is that, though, right? Plant. There's a switch there I could do. Obviously, you saw it like highlight a couple of times. Healing herb. Healing plant. Healing plant. Gather quite a few of these fireweed, fire nettle, like herbs galore over here. <laughs> uh, dipper dare. Are we going fast? Or I don't know. Again, like I was saying, I don't know if this is technically considered stealing. If it is, I don't get in trouble by taking this stuff, right? Not right now. Maybe at some point. 
maybe this is the night of the or this yeah this is the night of the raven add in too so it's more difficult right so maybe not if at some point I'm tough enough to take those guys though then uh, then I'd be less cautious but for now I'm pretty freaking sure they will walk all over me so fire nettle healing plant alright let's do the switch right Which was this next one? Yeah, I think it's this next one over. Over here, yeah. Alright, I don't know what the switch does, so let's save it and find out. Bonk! That opened something up? I was expecting like maybe this to move or something, but it didn't, did it? Oh, multiple switches. I see. Maybe there are switches all the way around. We have to keep doing switches. Yeah, I'm not seeing more. Oh, no, yeah, here's another. Oh, crap. Crap and crap and crap. So where are we headed then? Are you the foreman here? I'll give you one upside the head, you rascal. If you want to go ambling across my land, you'll pay me five gold coins, or you're in for a good thrashing. What the? Hang on, I wanna... Son of a... I wanted to go back and see what they're fighting. Your land? Are you the farmer here? You can bet on that. Why else would I make you pay me a toll? I don't mind if you go ask the others about me. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna kick my butt, I'm sure, but... Um... Five gold? Ah, here. If I have no choice, here's your money. Thank you, and have a nice day. Wow. He like butchered like all those farmers. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> they all tried to fight him and he just kicked the crap out of them. <laughs> wow. Derper. Yeah, let's. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> wow. I feel like I just totally, like, could use their help later fighting him or something, and I totally screwed him over. All right, let's not. Let's, let's not. Let's leave that alone for now. But he came out of there, so that's for the future. Balthazar? What's up, dude? How are things? Ah, a new face here on the farm. Has the old skin flint finally granted me an apprentice? Well, I'm not an apprentice. Oh, I see. I'm not as young as I used to be, you know, and uh, I've been waiting for a replacement for years. You aren't here because the neighbors are annoyed, are you? Have you seen any bandits passing through here? I certainly have. They passed along the edge of the field near Sekob's farm and entered the forest to the north. They were carrying loads of weapons. They looked like they were all set to win the war against the orcs. Well, I'm just glad they stayed away from our farm. Huh. What's the work you do here? Oh, I guard the sheep, and uh, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember. The animals are very loyal and very smart, you see. If you treat them well, they'll follow you for a lifetime. Hmm. Everything else all right? Oh, I can't complain. Thanks for asking. What's the trouble with your neighbors? 
grass on this side of the big field is always so stunted and dry, so I mostly go to the big pastures of the other farmers. Ooh, the landowner doesn't mind, but Bengar, the farmer on the high pastures, always makes a big deal out of it when I take the animals up there. He says Sekob should pay if I take his animals on to Bengar's pasture, but Sekob won't spend a measly coin for that, so I can't go up onto the plateau anymore. Hmm. Where can I find the high pastures in Bengar's farm? Follow this path and cross the big crossroad. If you stick to the right, you'll see a big outcropping of rock. Behind that, to the right, are the high pastures and the pass. Maybe I should talk to Bengar. You do that for me? What will you tell him? I mean, I don't want any trouble, you hear? We'll see about that. Alright, so new quest that I probably also am too, <laughs> too low a level to, to do. Bandits rip here. Wow. Wonder, let's see, is that better than what I've got? Mine is 40 damage and 20 dex. 40 damage and 20 dex also. And an F is scratched on the pommel. Interesting. It's a clue for a quest, I'm sure, of some kind. F, F, F. I'm trying to remember if there's anybody in the the upper quarter in Carinus who had an F in their name, right? Maybe that person is involved in selling weapons or what a, what have you. Oh, I should. It's getting night, isn't it? I should like sleep if I can. Let me see if I can just do that now. I know nothing no, about I'm picking not locks. Pick chest. I'm just trying to sleep, 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 sleep. There we go. Until morning. All right. Still got these field raiders to deal with. Try, try that if I can. Alright, fieldy. Fieldy. There we go. Come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah. Nothing I can nothing get, there. nothing I can get from them, that's right. So I figured. Thought I remember there's nothing I can loot from them currently. I'm down to 130 on my arrows. That's okay, though. I have uh, 25, I believe is what I'm down. Sorry, 92. Yeah. So I'll eat another couple of these. Yeah. Okay. Set it again. I need. Oh. Like 1265 looks like to me, experience to level again. So, I'm doing all right, experience wise. Oh, whoops. Oh, hi. What the? Friggin' skeleton? Perpeturpeter. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Oh, the goblin skeletons are really doing a number on stuff. Wow. Skeleton. Skeleton. I'm not trying to hit you. Crap. Crap. <laughs> Reload. Wow, so there are goblin skeletons over that way. Oh yeah, there we go. Based on what they were doing to the farmers, it probably kicked the crap out of me, but... Um, <sighs> I don't know if I should try to fight them or not. hit him or do anything if I do hit him there we go no 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 crap no 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 So, goblin skeletons are too tough for me right now, so it looks like. Probably more than anything, it's probably mainly, or, well, mainly, I don't know about mainly. It's probably more than anything, it's probably due to the fact there are two of them. One will still kill me, but two is just bad news. <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> in this awesome situation, we're going to go ahead and call it. So, this has been Let's Play Gothic 2, The Knight of the Raven. Part number, double dose, Zweiten Zweisig, uh, Van De, uh, whatever else in 22 you want to say in whatever other language. It's been part 22. My name is Exor. Please don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, comment, and uh, I will see you in the next part where we will not fight goblin skeletons, I think, and we'll, we'll see. See what else I can explore that will also kick the crap out of me. So, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Till next time, peace.